what's going on guys welcome back to the next part in building the spotify app series in the last part we put together albums and saving them and in this part we're going to introduce a little bit of haptic feedback in the application so those are little vibrations that you feel in your device when you go ahead and do various actions it's a nice little polish and it definitely uh, warrants its own video so if that sounds good definitely go ahead and start by smashing that like button down below for the youtube algorithm go ahead and open up xcode and open up your workspace and let's jump into our managers folder which we created way back when we started the project many videos ago so in here, we have a haptics manager file, which we never really wrote any code in. So this is what we're going to fill out today. So there are a couple different types of haptics that are commonplace to add to your app. One is a selection haptic. So what a selection haptic is, is a very light uh, vibration kind of feedback when you tap on something, aka you selected it. The other type of feedback that you could potentially also add is a success or a failure um, feedback. So, you know, a vibration that indicates that something was successful versus something failed. So let's go ahead and uh, create the manager here and we're gonna hook it up in a couple places of the app. I'm not gonna do it in every place because you guys will get the idea and you guys can kind of tweak it as you see fit. So we're gonna start by creating a final class called haptics manager. And we're gonna use a shared instance for this uh, class since we don't need to instantiate this multiple times all over the app and we can privatize the initializer by just marking it private and all we really want to do is well first we want to import ui kit because the feedback generator which is the object to go ahead and do haptics is a part of uh, ui kit we're going to add two functions one's going to be vibrate for uh, selection and this other one is going to be uh, vibrate for type, and we could just say vibrate, let's do it the more swift way, which is vibrate for type, and the parameter is going to be a UI notification feedback generator dot type, feedback type, and this, this feedback generator naming convention is basically um, what Apple has chosen. Feedback in this case is just the device kind of, you know, giving you um, tactile feedback of the actual vibration. So let's go ahead and create a generator in this one as well. This is simply a UI selection feedback generator. On the generator, you need to go ahead and say uh, prepare. And then you can say generator. And let's see what it's called. So this one is selection uh, changed. We're going to go ahead and create a generator here as well. This one is going to be this notification generator thing. We're going to say generator. Uh, prepare once again, and this one's going to be impact for type. So notification occurred, passing in the type which we have made a parameter so the caller can specify, you know, what the type is. The other important thing to note is this should always be calls on the main thread. So we're going to say dispatch queue main async, and I'm going to wrap the other one as well onto the main thread, and fix up your curlies and indentation, and you are good to go. Now comes the fun part of figuring out where we want to call this from. So the rule of thumb, for me at least, is whenever you have a collection view or a table view, whenever you tap on one of these cells, you probably want to call the selection. So let's jump into our controllers. And in core, we're going to first start with home view controller. And I'm going to find the function, which is did select item at index path. And we're going to say at the top, your haptics manager shared, and we're going to say vibrate for selection. So that's the first one. The other one we can do if we continue along in our uh, kind of list of controllers in the search controller, we have that same function for did select item for selecting a category. I'm gonna paste it in right there. Let's see, for library view controller, we don't have a did select in here because we have two child controllers. So that's the end of core. If we open up other in the library, um, controllers, we do have a did select for the table view. So I'm going to paste it into that one. We're going to also search for did select in the next one here. I'm going to paste it into this one as well for albums. Let's continue along. Let's see, we have auth, welcome, settings, profile. We really don't uh, want to do this much, um, too much in these other controllers. I'll probably leave it there. But what we do want to do now is that uh, 
other type, which is a notification, right? So that might be something like if you're creating a new playlist, that's a good place where you might want to call it. So in the playlist, library playlist controller, if you find this uh, show create function, once the user successfully creates a given playlist, you might want to say haptics manager and you want to vibrate for success. So we're going to say vibrate for uh, success. Otherwise, in the failure, you're going to vibrate for error. And there's a couple different types uh, of uh, warnings here. There is warning, rather a couple different types of types, I guess. Uh, warning, error, and success. So error would be in this case of, you know, something went wrong. Another good place you want to add, um, or I would add this success, is if you open up album view controller and go to the function where you let the user save an album. So in uh, this closure here, if it succeeds, we'll say haptic managers vibrate for success. Otherwise, we're going to say vibrate for an error, just like that. So that's a brief overview of you know, how you would create this haptics manager. Uh, we created it as a singleton just so we don't have to redundantly write the code over and over again. Um, so you want to go ahead and put these in various places throughout your app. It really adds a lot of depth um, to your app, and it gives it that extra layer of polish that you kind of get from you know, really, really well-made apps, you know, apps like Instagram and Facebook and just great apps that are out there. So that's all I've got for this video. Definitely shorter than all the other parts. We're nearing the end of the series. We still need to work on signing out and uh, the welcome screen. So we're going to continue with that in the next part. So if you haven't liked the video yet, make sure to drop a like down below. Leave any questions, comments, concerns down in the comments area. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part.